You can't stop me. You can't stop me. I'm gonna fucking shoot Abraham Lincoln. You can't stop me. Honestly, I was gonna, I was gonna do, I'm gonna shoot the president. But I realized that's a really horrible thing to say. Sneaking the bug into that exorcism was an uncharacteristic stroke of genius. Demonic possession is the gift that keeps on giving. What? Oh, Commissioner. No, that was, uh, Max's aunt. Yes, 14 packs a day. <laughs> What's that? Yes. Yes? No. Yes? Sweet suffering Saint Sebastian on the sousaphone in a short story by Susan Sontag. We're on our way. Let me guess. Our friendly neighborhood demon just burnt down another monastery. No, Max, we have a far more bloodthirsty adversary this time. The President of the United States of America. Who? The man's gone nuts. He's enacting all kinds of crazy new laws. What else is new? Federally mandated group hugs before, during, and after all oh, major no? sporting events. So? He's curtailing civil liberties, threatening the environment. Hey, that makes three of us. And he's about to introduce mandatory gun registration. Get the keys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I was very tempted to uh, have this the, the name called I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna shoot the president. But I didn't want people to have the wrong idea. And I think I'm gonna shoot Joe Biden. <laughs> and like I don't want people to have like think that I have certain beliefs over one uh, faction or another. So like yeah, I decide against it. If you think it'll, if you guys think it'll be funny, I'll do it. <laughs> but yeah, you guys have to say that uh, later on, and because uh, obviously no one's watching. Now. I have to point out, Sam, that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you just let me drive. And I have to point out that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you hadn't jumped on my head, shouting "Jersey Devil, Jersey Devil," and firing your gun out the window. I swear that woman was a dead ringer for him. Well, here we are, <laughs> in an open field west of the White House. Okay. Let's go bring the hammer down on that so-called commander-in-chief. Oh, there's his boxing glove. Hey, my missing boxing glove! It's always in the last place you look. Oh my god. Please do not feed the submarine. What can you feed a submarine, anyway? Nothing. Aren't you listening? White House pool, most secure waiting pool on Earth. Jimmy Two Teeth. My God, he's everywhere. Jimmy? Oh great! What are you guys doing here? Oh, just saving the world. What are you doing here? I happen to take my vacations at the White House, and I need a little R and R. Speaking of which, beat it. Hey Jimmy, beat it. All right. Run for the sign. Valley parking, two dollars. Way to knock down that deficit. Suspect yourself. That's so Madonna. Who? Oh? Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid five 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 phones. Yes, actually, five 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 one nine eight four. Hey Sam, did I ever mention how I've memorized pi to one thousand decimal places? It's 3.141592653589. Do you have a piece of paper handy? You want to write down the phone number? I remember the number. I want to write myself a reminder to smother you with a pillow in your sleep. <laughs> Post no bills. I'm surprised this sign survived the Clinton administration. Oh my god. Can I go in here? No. There's a small mailbox here. Ah, it's one of those ornamental mailboxes that doesn't actually open. That's government efficiency for you. Hmm, white paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. 
Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max, later. Your you name here? here? For naming rights to this building, please contact the Office of Desperation Accounting. Oh boy! Can we, Sam? Please? Yes. We'll see, little buddy. Where are we going, Sam? No place. Never mind. We may be going nowhere, but at least we're making good time. I agree. Step aside, buddy. Freelance police. Just a moment, sir. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Possible situation at the front door. Talking dog and der rabbit trying to gain access to the OO. Please advise over. Super Bowl? Yeah, that's a negative on the access permission, sir. I'll have to ask you and your little friend to step away from the White House. Doggy Daddy, this is Loose Cannon. Request permission to pants this goon. Over. Before we try physical violence, Max, let's try dazzling a man with our razor sharp wit and labyrinthine logical conundrums. Ah, emotional violence. Good plan. Let us in, pal. We're freelance police, here to save the president. I thought we were here to stop the president by any means necessary. I was going to wait to mention that part, Max. Either way, sir, you can't get inside. Orders. Seriously, Jack, let us in. It's a national emergency. No can do, sir. All right, fair enough. Huh? It's going to be tougher than I thought to trick this goon and get inside. I heard that, sir. And it's going to be impossible. Hey, no fair. You're not supposed to listen to casual asides. It's in the job description, sir. Report all stage whispers, soliloquies, and casual asides to the proper authorities. Curse them! They've thought of everything! Finest security force in the world, sir. Well, don't I don't you get know. Guarding this door? It's a rewarding job, sir. Doing my part. Keeping the president safe. Hey, Super Bowl! I'd like you to smell these two handkerchiefs and tell me which one smells more like chloroform. Not now, Max. Is that all you do? Guard this door? That's my primary assignment, sir. I'm thinking of a number between 1 <laughs> and 100. Try to guess it while I drop increasingly heavy weights near your head. What's your secondary assignment? It varies. Receptionist, maintenance, light grounds work, public relations. Public relations? I'm a people person, sir. Makes sense. They have you guys doing odd jobs, too? Cutback, sir. Employee Reduction and Consolidation Act of 2003. These sunglasses aren't cheap. Hey, Super Bowl! What gauge syringe would be best for injecting you with a <laughs> knockout serum? Just a hypothetical. You really have time to do everything else and guard this door? I make the time, sir. It's what I do. Did you call yourself Superball? Codename, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. And who's Papa Bear? Section Chief. Runs the operation. Protects the president. Oh! Thanks, Superball! Man. I get it! <laughs> I want to talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the president. I want to talk to your manager. No can do, sir. All right. I've had enough of this. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Perp's exiting zone four now. Seem disgruntled. Stay on the lookout. Over. Now can we push him down and beat him with sewage-filled garbage bags until he runs crying into the reflecting pool? Tempting, Max. But these Secret Service guys hold a grudge. <laughs> hmm. Where are we going, Sam? I guess we'll head back to the back office. Back to the office. I'll drive! Not while I'm alive. Exactly! Oh god! Okay, so we're out here. As long as we don't go back inside, we'll be fine. It's a dating service now? Hey, Sybil. What's new in the world of frequent random career reassessment? Hi, fellas. I'm really excited. Oh I've God! Found the perfect job for me. You don't say. Mansplaining? That's right. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. Oh God! I thought I smelled phosphorus. I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil and dragging its muffler. It's a dating service, Max. I figured that if a smart, successful career woman uh, like me could be uh, in so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use help. You're having trouble finding your soulmate? You don't know the half of it. It seems like all the guys I meet are total losers. No offense. None taken. Hey! <laughs> or else they're borderline psychopaths. No offense. None taken. It's the borderline cases you have to watch out for. What kind of man are you looking for? Older men. Guys oh. with a little history to them <laughs> are such a turn off. Oh, God. I already can see oh, what this turns out. Tall men. And distinguished. He's, and she's... he should be experienced. 
So. All right, enough already. Yes, I will go out with you, Sybil. I thought she was talking about me. So she's gonna go out with Abraham Lincoln. I'm just calling it now. Could you find dates for Max and me? Seriously? It's Max and I. I mean, sure. Why not? You're fucking asshole. Stranger things have happened. I guess they must have somewhere. I'm choosing not to be offended <laughs> by that. What do we need to do? It's easy. Just submit an application. What kind of stuff is on this application? The usual. Your best traits, and what kind of person you're looking for. Hooks for hands! Hooks for hands! When you're done, I'll put the application into my computer, which analyzes your personality matrix at 15 essential compatibility points. I don't know throw in the garbage. matrix so much as a personality vector. Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree on a time and place. Let me help you guys out. Tell me your good points and what you're looking for in a date. That's all I can think of. Oh, that's plenty. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Your applications into the computer. And there it is. Max, it says your perfect match is... Cybernetic laser eyes. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Well, that's interesting. It says your perfect match is Sam. Disturbing. And yet somehow not completely unexpected. And Sam, your ideal soulmate is... Wait for it, Max. Well, there goes another blow to the concept of a fair and just universe. Hey, Sam, what do you say we never ever speak of this again? Way ahead of you, little buddy. What's next on the career horizon? Next? This is it. You say that every what single time. Be a better job than helping people find their perfect match. Volcano God. Good point. I'll stick to the dating business, though. How none. many couples have you managed than, to I escort guess. to romantic bliss? So far, none. None is the loneliest number. But I've got a feeling things will start to pick up after the holidays. All that stress makes for a lot of messy breakups. And a lot of people looking for romance on the rebound. So we have something to look forward to. Alrighty, I'll see you around. Oh god, dang. Uh, sure, Humus, let's see who you are. Whoa, look, Max. It's our favorite cultish crackpot, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. I want to buy something. Take my credit card. Put me on your mailing list. Anyone you want me to recruit? You're supposed to give the Stockholm Syndrome a few days to kick in, Max. Who has that kind of <laughs> What's a big celebrity like you doing on our street, you bliss? Why, I'm spreading the great news about Christmatology! I still say he's a, he's a fucking gay stereotype. ...for a revolution in holistic personal and interpersonal well-being. Now translated into 15,000 different languages, including Esperanto. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Are the books selling well? Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. You can't sell the wonder of the daydream or the laughter of the child. Yes, you can. It's right. called eBay. I've tried. What was your book about again? Genetics? The Handbook for Multicolored Happiness? It's about everything. And nothing at all. Oh. What's this prismatology nonsense really about? All it is is the total reawakening of mind, body, and spirit in a rainbow. Ah. I'm really excited. Uh -huh. And how do we do that? Okay. Simply focus on the orange at the core of your spirit. Okay. No, wait. Okay, now. Shift your consciousness to the ultraviolet. Doing that? Mix it with the indigo of your imagination, and then let it slide down the rainbow of your hopes and dreams. Wow, I can't believe it was so simple. How do you stay in business? With the magic of volume and free delivery. You can have all the colors delivered to your home for no green. I don't get it. 
<laughs> Show us a magic trick, you bliss. Magic is easy when the colors of your soul yeah, are yeah, less chatter, more magic. <laughs> oh, fucking asshole. How about I disappear? Well, your mind reading is obviously still working. It is. <laughs> now watch me as I vanish. Except you won't be able to watch me because I'll be gone. Oh. Hey, oh my god, he's fucking dead. Oh, never mind. Hi. I'm Hugh Bliss. Stay calm. Shut up. Oh. President appoints action figure as Secretary of Defense. That is pretty crazy. Well, at least it was an action figure of John Shaft. Oh, I can dig it. I don't know. Um. Oh no. What's shaking, Bosco? Ah, greetings, comrades, dog and rabbit. I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid-Atlantic states? The San Fernando Valley? Hmm, I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light check pattern. Ha-ha! <laughs> Comrade Maximilian makes the funny joke. I am Vladimir Ilyevich Boskovorsky, Russian proprietor of workers' glorious warehouse of inconvenience. No? No! But now I make <laughs> new start in America, I love it. which I love. So it's no need to aim in sophisticated targeting equipment at me. What's with the Soviet bloc, Bosco? He's perfectly natural, comrade. I work with your American government in spirit of Glasnost. They know, they know. Who knows what? The feds, man. Uncle Sam. The government's watching us all the time. No. So that's why I always feel an overbearing presence just out of my field of vision, watching and judging my every move. That's me, Max. Yeah. Why is the government spying on you, Bosco? I don't know. Maybe it's because I know too much. Um. Just humor the poor guy, Max. But I make new start in America, which I love. So there's no need to target me. I suppose you've got some ridiculously complex whirly gig to defend yourself against the feds? He's the people, comrades. Workers will overthrow fascist regime. What about us loafers? All are welcome. Come day of victory, workers, we will <laughs> to bring downfall of corrupt administration. We will number in tens of millions. That's a lot of Bolsheviks. No, he's all true. Plus, I'm working on a satellite missile defense system. Excuse me, what the fuck? <laughs> Missile defense system? Isn't that more than a little bit overkill? Yet! We are strong like bear against attack! I'm working on modifying BTAS part D. Your anti-delivery system? That's right. It was already programmed to keep people from delivering goods to the store, so I just went into the database and changed beef jerky to intercontinental ballistic missiles. So now anyone can just deliver a blimp load of beef jerky to your store without fear of reprisal? It's small price to pay for freedom. Oh, something in here smells like fermented hate. It's like sweaty jock straps soaked in boiled cabbage with a dash of sulfur. Keep it down, guys. You're scaring off the other customers. What other customers? Max and I are always the only ones in here. It's good thing. Merchandise is always available. Coming in here is like visiting old friends. Some of these cereal boxes are from the McKinley administration. I carved our initials in one of the weenies, so we'll be best friends forever, Sam. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to tasty fresh. <laughs> oh, God. When's the last time... Need... We want to buy something. Da is evil but necessary private enterprise. What do you got? His most glorious invention, comrade. He's useful for, how you say, questioning. Questioning. His true serum makes easy, even the most difficult, how you say, interrogation. Interrogation. True serum? Is this another one of your half-baked overpriced gimmicks, or does it actually work? Both will make anyone get rid of inhibitions and tell him, uh, how you say, uh, complete and honest truth. Your accent sucks. Hey, it's already working. Do you have any potatoes in the likeness of Catholic saints? Yet. Do you have any souvenir snow globes from the mystery vortex? Yet. 
<laughs> Do you have any Lobster Fox brand cereal? Yeah. Damn it. Do you I have any that. Tagalog rhyming dictionaries abridged? Yeah. Do you have any Wiener Cozies? Da. We just get shipment of those in this week. Let me look. Oh boy. Wait. Did you say Wiener Cozy? I thought you said Navajo blankets. No, we're all out of Wiener Cozy. Damn it. Do you have any Navajo blankets? Yeah. You bitch. Do you have any potato? Yeah. We'd like that truth serum, Comrade Boscovich. It's good. Price is 867.5309 rubles. How much is that in real money? 100 million dollars. Why? I think your rate of exchange is a little off, Boscovorsky. Fall of Berlin Wall brings great strength to our economy. Isn't that a little pricey for truth serum? It's bargain. It really does work, and I haven't even tried it yet. Sam, this morning I used your toothbrush. Results are guaranteed. I used it to clean out my ears. This is refreshingly liberating. Besides, I need the money to complete my satellite defense system. I needed to clean out my ears because I've been rummaging through. Okay, I've heard enough. We'll take that truth serum. It's yours for only 100 million American dollars. Oh. I seem to have left my 100 million dollars in my other suit. We'll be back. Nothing for us. He's no threat to glorious American government. So how the hell are we going to get a million dollars? Ooh, purple. Novelty gumballs. Shaped just like the real thing, but made of inedible plastic. Fool your friends, annoy your grandparents. Oh, God. <laughs> What do we have in here? There are so many other things to punch. Thank you, Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. disappear again? I want to figure out how you did it. It's easy, Seth. I take all the colors from my surroundings and spin them into a great big... Okay, yeah, I was just being polite. I don't care how you do it. Okay! Alright, so we're, it's kind of on a time limit. Wait, hold on, I just take... I just... Hey, a free home delivery sign. Oh, is that what I was supposed to take? Let me take the let me take the cockroach. Okay, here's what he said. The magic and illusion of wonder is a dream from your imagination. And I know you're listening, Sam and Max. Ah, free for you. Thank you. Uh-oh. I didn't do it. Oh, uh, fuck. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh, boy! So... To your manager. No can do, sir. What else do you do besides varies? I've had enough. Alright. Let's see what the organic talking device has to say now. <laughs> okay, here's what he said. Just step away from the door, please. Yes, sir, that is all I say. Thank you, sir. Hey, this phone. It must be one of Yes, sir. Oh, wait, hello, what's this? A 
I wish I could turn down the sensitivity. I can't listen to that. Think, boy! Excuse me, princess. Nah. Come on, stop moving, Sam. I sort of got nah. her max. Nah. Uh, what if I do... This is his. There are so many other things to punch. Assaulting armed secret service agents is one of the leading causes of getting yourself killed. Wait, what's that? Hold on, what's stool? Oh, stool. Nice stool. It looks a little like a weird space creature, poised to devour the unwary mortal foolish enough to sit on it. I like that in a stool. The country really is hard up for cash. Maybe if I talk to him now? No. I've had him. Hmm. White paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Everything accidental! Later, Max. Is there nothing else I can take? Where are we going? Back to the office. Shotgun! Yeah, there's, there is only shotgun for you. We can't possibly be stuck now. Although I'm curious what I can do with this bug, so I'm just gonna listen to everyone. Okay, here's what she said. Hmm. Meter maid? Nah. Movie industry executive? Done that already. Hey, this looks good. Shuttle pre-flight analyst. Oh, it's part-time only. Thank you, sir. Do I bring that hey, up, sir? How goes the Com How's been Slow it. Hmm. I refuse to look it up. I refuse. I already talked to Hugh Bliss. Get in the fucking... Yes, sir. Oh, right, because I bought it from Bosco. Hey, Bosco. Huh? Hmm. Wait, oh, that is... That is weird. I hate that. I hate that. I don't know that's a glitch. But it just keeps on going down. I think that's a glitch. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Stupid idea. What if I give him the sign again? No can do. No dice. There are so many.
Maybe there's something in the office. Nothing seems different. Maybe we can sneak in the rat hole. Anybody home? Guess not. Uh, what the fuck? It's our favorite shifty card cheat, Leonard Steak Charmer. How you doing, Leonard? Come in. Good, good. I think, uh, who, who's the, who's the president at the time of this? Was it Clinton? I know it wasn't Obama. Was it Biden? Because wasn't there another, no, Biden was not president twice. Crap, what was it? We've got to stop the president, Max. Let's use the two most important tools of democracy. Guns, Guns and, and ammo. ammo. I wonder what our old pal Flint Paper is doing. Probably sleeping off a night of two-fisted, hard-boiled action, giving two-bit thugs the what for, all on account of some dame. Yeah, he's the coolest. This place could use a bit of remodeling. I was saving it for a surprise, but I booked us on that mega extreme office makeover show. We just have to sign the release forms and decide where to put the whirring saw blades. Oh. Hey, Max, did you lose weight? I had to for my new modeling contract. Hey, Max, did you lose weight? Uh -oh. I had to for my new modeling contract. Hmm. I had to my new modeling contract. I had to my new modeling contract. I had to my new modeling contract. I don't fucking know, man. Uh, I'm not looking up fucking... Uh, I want. I really want to, though, because I don't know what to do. What if I talk to what's his no I mean maybe if I talk to him during the presidency? What's your opinion of this prismatology nonsense? My religious faith is based on who gives away the best <laughs> Okay, well hmm. All I can say is it was Sam? both well worth it and I don't care. Uh. Oh, oh. What are we doing here again? We're either trying to see the president or we're on the first leg of a doomed expedition to scale the mighty K2. What day is it? Tuesday. Okay, it's the president thing. Pretty nice place here. It'd be a shame if anything happened to it. What's that supposed to mean? Just that I'd hate for there to be an accident. How do you do that? Putting certain words in quotes when you talk. I've been practicing. <laughs> that guard really takes his job seriously. I could create a distraction while you sneak in the door. The last time you tried to create a distraction, it brought down the power grid of the entire western. <laughs> Holy hemisphere. shit! You call it overzealous? I call it thorough. We'll never be able to get in to see the president. We should have just called him and saved the trip out here. Okay, let's go. Wait, now that you said that, can I call? Hey, this phone only takes. It must be one of those stupid. Yes, sir. Hey, Wait. It must be yes, sir. Fuck. Hey, this book. Yes, actually. Five 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 one nine eight four. Okay. Is there a phone somewhere around? Where are we going, Sam? Back to the shotgun. 
I think there is. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, ba 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 ba. Commissioner, wait. The 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 number for commissioner. Well, obviously the commissioner. We're not gonna call it commissioner, but the same phone number. First, though, something way more important. Let's go answer our fucking voice ma voice messages. Oh, makes sense. In the upcoming election, it's important to ask yourself, do you feel safer than you did three years ago? Or would you rather return to the days when crazy packs of robotic hyenas prowl the street, targeting their death ray laser eyes on you and on your children? What? No, not the hyenas. God, the hyenas. Alright. Okay, that's very odd. I may have to disappear for a little bit if that I actually smell that again. Well, burning. I'm not sure if it's actually burning. Hey, Colin, Sam. Mista Pizza. Two medium pineapple and asbestos pies, please. Oh, yeah? Well, same to you, jerk. What'd he say? Thank you, and have a nice day. <laughs> Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. White House. Agent Super Bowl speaking. Have you checked the baby? Yes, sir. Sleeping soundly. Oh, good job, then. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. We've got two very special agents coming to the White House today. One is tall, well-dressed, and devilishly handsome, and the other is Max. Grant them full clearance, over. Can't do that without approval form signing from the concern regulations. That's not happening. Who are you calling, Sam? The White, White House. Hello, please hold. Roger that. Our phone bill is sure going to be expensive this month. It's okay, Max. I've been paying them out of your retirement fund. Hello. Is anyone there? Fucking run. We need to get there. No place. Where? All right. Hello. Is anyone here? Hello. Hello. <laughs> he just doesn't leave. Like you never see him again. These same folks will say that we're wrong for introducing this federal pudding embargo. They envy our freedom. I ask you, what have they got to hide? Unless they're secretly sitting on stockpiles of pudding, and oh yes, we will find them. They've got nothing to be afraid of. So in conclusion, America, get your back up off the wall. Dance, come on, marzipan and good night. It's worse than we thought, Max. He's crazier than a caffeine-addled dingo in an Adelaide maternity ward. I think he makes a lot of good points. Those puddings are trying to steal our jobs. And I especially like how he does that spinny thing with his eyes. Oh, he's a robot! Wait, no. Whiskey soaked beard of Ulysses S. Grant. He got That's hypnotized it. by the bear. The president's not crazy. He's been hypnotized. We've got to snap him out of it, Max. And pronto. How do we do that again? We hit him over the head, like we do with all hypnotized people. Oh, yeah! Hey, Matt, do you work here? What tipped you off? We're freelance police, buddy. This is a national emergency. And we don't appreciate your sassy mouth. Auditions for new White House pet are down the hall. 
this can only end in violence. Hmm, this guy's voice sounds familiar. Do you recognize him, Max? Half the time, I don't even recognize you, Sam. I'm over here, little buddy. Who said that? Do I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I'm that voice in the back of your head that tells you to mind your own business. The veiled threats? The surly tone? I've got it! You're that pit boss from the Toy Mafia. I smell a conspiracy. You smell a nosy dog who's going to get smacked if he don't stop asking questions. Too bad. What's the Toy Mafia got to do with the Secret Service? What Toy Mafia? Oh, he's good, Sam. The Orso Nostra, the sacred organization you inducted me and Max into in a time-honored ceremony. The one that we infiltrated, repeatedly duped, and then blew up in a fiery explosion of death and property damage. I was going to casually forget to mention that part, Max. That's a very entertaining story, Chowderheads. Now, run along and play whilst I protect the leader of our country. I think somebody may have hypnotized the president while you weren't looking. You, perhaps. Very funny. What do you do around here? I give out free t-shirts to the visitor who asks the dumbest question of the day. Please accept Ooh. my apologies, but we're all out of Husky Boys sizes. Ooh, double I thought you were on my side, Max. I just call him like I see him, Sam. You're the president's personal bodyguard? You catch on quick. We need to have a private meeting with the president, national security. Go right ahead. I meant private, as in wait outside and we'll call you when we need you. And national security, as in, we need to clobber the president on the head to break his hypnotic trance. Your gift for subterfuge is uncanny, Max. And that's uncanny as in, you two try anything and I'll plug you. You're always with the president? Even when he's got a, you know... Always. I never leave his side. Your codependency sickens me. And it sickens me in exactly the same way, doesn't it, Max? I mean, Sam. What's behind that door? It's a private club for people who aren't annoying me. You two ain't invited. Should we pummel him together, Sam, or would you rather take turns? We can create a national security incident after we've saved the president, Max. Seriously, pal, what's behind that door? It's the door to the war room, with unrestricted access to the United States' entire arsenal of long-range missile weapons. There's no part of that sentence I didn't like. Then it's unanimous. We'd like a tour. Nobody gets into the war room during peacetime. Stay away from it, or I'll have to escort you out. Two for the war room, please. Nothing doing. But Max came all this way. He's been dreaming of it for years. Can you look into those big brown slits he uses for eyes and crush <laughs> the lifelong dream of a childlike rabbity creature? Even if I were moved by that kind of thing, which I ain't, this door stays locked at all times, unless we're in a war. Um... What would cause them to be in a war? I'll be back. I cannot wait. I don't think that would be weird. Good day, Mr. President. We come in peace, as far as you know. Oh, finally! The interpreters! Where have you been? Interpreters? Yeah! That is why you fellas are here, right? Sure, why not? Cause I got a meeting with one of them foreign dignitaries. Always talking that crazy space language. Who are you meeting with today? Heck if I know. They show up and start jabbering away about treaties and whatnot. I just let the interpreters figure it out. I just keep an eye on them to make sure they don't steal something or try to eat the cat. Oh my fucking god. We're ready to start interpreting. That's aces, fellas. But the dignitary hasn't shown up yet. Show yourselves around the office. But don't touch nothing. Snap out of it, Mr. President. You've been hypnotized. Shaw, sure, I haven't been hypnotized. That's crazy talk. You've got to listen to us, sir, or we'll be forced to take drastic action. Don't talk to me about drastic action. 
You ever been pinned down in a drugstore parking lot by a pack of muskrat commandos with nothing left to lose? Ever had to gnaw your best buddy's leg off just so you could get his socks and put them on your own ears to fend off the enemy's deadly sonic regurgitate array? Now that's crazy talk. <laughs> what the I'm fuck? <laughs> Wake up, Mr. President. You've never given up on anything in your life. Don't start now. That's awful nice of you fellas, but I haven't been hypnotized. Now do we commence with the head trauma, Sam? What was that? We'll have to get the president alone, Max. Freelance police, you're under arrest. Freelance police? Now there's the kind of can-do vigilante attitude that makes America strong. Finally, someone who appreciates our greater calling. <laughs> I like it. Seriously, you're under arrest. <laughs> oh, you can't arrest me. Foolish chief executive, does he not fear us? Trust us, Mr. President. It's for your own good. Nah, see, it's the Secret Service regulations. I can't leave the Oval Office. You're still under arrest. We can get your administration back on track with just a hint of bloodshed if you'll just... Where does the little one keep his gun? Best not to think about it, sir. <laughs> keep up the... You... The man... It's for the good... It's a stack of pithy campaign slogans. Oh, don't fool with those. Would want to be caught on national TV with my drawers down again. Wait. Nah. You fucking. Dude. How? Who dies? Uh. Hmm. Throw pillows shaped like stars. Interesting, since actual stars are shaped more like throw pillows. Oh, I like that joke. I like that joke. Is that a potted plant or a vice president of the United States? It is hard to tell the difference. Yeah, I don't get that one. I don't know which. All right. Apparently, even U.S. presidents have mothers. U.S. Senate talent show, second place. My finest hour. I'm not sure who this is. It must be important. This is either an early draft of the Declaration of Independence or a crude map of Lithuania. <laughs> Roosevelt's boxing gloves, encased in lucite. TR or FDR? ER, I think. Oh, oh, hello. Looks like there are rats in the Oval Office. Sam, you've finally done it. A straight line so easy, even I won't touch it. Hey, wait. Everything. Isn't that Warren G. Harding's nickname? Hugh Bliss was here, or maybe just... These the guys commemorate the core values of freedom-loving peoples everywhere. Eating a lot and hitting things with sticks? Exactly. That yeah, makes sense. Are these pictures of you with cardboard cutouts of other presidents? We're all cardboard under the skin, son. Funny how almost anything makes sense if a president says it. I can understand that, my dude. Hi, I'm George Washington. Anyone need their nuts cracked? <laughs> Please don't make fun of George Washington. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna get... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chuckles. Whee! I hate you. Why is in my way? Okay, here's what he said. Put that down, Mr. President. Don't make me have to get the hose. Thank you, sir. What? Mr. President, CEO of the USA. 
<laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. It's fucking stupid. Okay, here's what he said. Well, don't that beat all. Hey, Chuckles, check this out. When you fold the dollar bill this way, it makes him look like he's hooting. Thank you, sir. Stand back, son. That there's the national budget. Uh, okay. Hands off, boy. That's my presidential calendar. Nice globe. Amazing how often I need it in this job. <laughs> hey, now, that's my super special top secret ribbon. Don't touch it. Hey, now, that's... I thought you would say something else. Take a look at that. <laughs> I love this country. Liberty Bell. Oh, that's kind of funny. The Liberty Bell is a light for this room, just as America is a light for. Yes. Metaphor is such an ugly quality in House of Representatives and Gardens. Huh. Uh. So now what? It's a stack of pit. Oh, don't fool them! <laughs> huh? Like I'm almost certain that I just put it there. Listen up, buddy. Oh, good. You're back. Well, I... I t looked at everything in the room. Hello, Miss... We're ready to start. That's aces, fellas. But the dignitary... Ha Show yourselves around the... But don't... T we'll so, maybe... Can't talk now. I'm on the phone. Sorry for interrupting. Hello. Is anyone there? Hello. Hello. Is anyone there? Hmm. Hello. 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 Pretty sure I know he says, but you know. Hello. Is anyone there? Hello. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Hello. Is anyone there? Hello. Hello. Get in the DeSoto. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun. So we need a hundred million dollars. Somehow. Do you have anything new? Thank you, Bliss. No. I don't get it. I agree. Bosco. Tell us about that missile defense system again. I'm working on modifying BTAS parts. Yeah. Once I get funding for it, it'll be able to shoot down any ICBMs targeted at the store. See ya. Fun. <laughs> I don't know why that's just so fun to just go in there. Uh. Okay. 
don't know. How are we gonna get a hundred million dollars? Buy one, get one. I gotta admit, that's a great sales bargain. You buy one and you get one? Dear God. You buy one when you get it. Dear God. Hey, Sybil. How goes the dating? Comp how does this dating service work again? People submit applications listing their good traits and what they're looking for. Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree on a time and place. What are you looking for in a date again? I would love to meet a tall, older man with a good career. It's like that clearly just alludes to... See you around. Abraham Lincoln. Anything new? Slays three and asparagus rampage. Oh, there is something new. Chef killer cools heels and stir. No, there's nothing new. Uh. Hey, what are you doing, my little fucker? I want you in the car. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the. It's a very important issue. Was I? No, comprende, son. But I'm speaking English. Ah, oh, are, are you two fellas the interpreters? It's about time. Darndest thing, we just had a couple imposters in here. We had rumors for you two. Were they walking around examining everything and engaging everyone in pointless conversations? Those are the ones. Those accursed clones. When will their devilish mimicry end? Help me out with this here potentate, would you? Can't understand a dang word. But that doesn't make sense. I don't even have an accent. You clearly do. Momento, por favor. Oh my god. Patient little guy, ain't he? Oh, hey, Wizard, I guess. What's new, Wizard? That's Governor Wizard. Thank you very much. What are you the governor of? The 51st and greatest state, West Dakota! Don't you guys read the papers? Just the funnies. You mean the obituaries, Max. Potato, potato. Jesus Christ! We're a young state, but with our own rich traditions that make us a distinct tourist destination, apart from the north and south. How did you get into politics? I won the election. It was a very close race, but I totally won the popular vote. Was it a runoff election? You see what I did there? Runoff? Cause he's wizard? You're still the master of fourth grade gutter humor, Max. Oof. What were your qualifications for office? I'm a television celebrity. Now there's a platform I can get behind. What brings you to the Oval Office? 
I'm trying to build up nationwide support for the MRSAPP. Who's Mr. Seth? And why didn't you want me to know you were talking about him? I can spell, you know. It's the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program. It's totally changed my life. I've been carbonation free for over four weeks now. Tell us about the MRSAPP. Be brief. I started the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program after I became governor to help people get flat like me. But if we can't get federal funding, people all over the Dakotas are going to get right back on the pop. I don't work eight hours a day, six days a week, just to throw my money away for some washed up soda junkies with no sense of self-control. You don't have Hey. All right. I right. take... Good luck with that. I take great offense to that. <laughs> so you really kicked the soda habit, huh? And how? Back when I was on the pop, I was in a real downward spiral. That I drink Big Red, and that's my favorite drink. My next fizz, then having to take time out for number one. Then I saw that documentary about Peanut Franklin, and it convinced me I didn't want to be just another self-destructive former child star. Peanut Franklin, the lovable star of Mixed Nuts who was found in a seedy Hollywood motel room dead of anaphylactic shock? What you mean you ain't got no jelly? Still too soon, Max. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like a nice cold soda? Gee, thanks. I'll take a... Whoa, no! Stay strong, wizard. You control the bubble. <laughs> talking about soda, will ya? Stop talking about the crisp, clean taste or the effervescent fizz as it pours over ice into a frosty glass. All of it. I've been completely flat for over a month now. I can't go back to the way I used to be. I just can't. Yeah, you can. We're ready to interpret for you. Don't tell me. The president needs the interpreter. What did he say, Sam? I'm speaking English. I don't even have an accent. What? I can't understand a word. See? Hello, Mr. President. We're ready to interpret for you. All right. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Mr. President, my fellow Americans, I come to warn you about a serious epidemic facing our country. The scourge of soda abuse. Many former popheads like myself found ourselves in the endless cycle of addiction and elimination until we believed there was no hope. I don't know what you're saying, son, but you're selling it, boy. Good job. I ask you, how long can this epidemic continue? What was that? He said. Uh... <laughs> Let's continue torturing with the soda. What you guy gotta do to get a drink around here? Aha, uh -huh. I know what you need. And ice cold orange sugar fizz. I swear by it. No, that's not what I want at all. I must resist. But I am thirsty, and just one couldn't hurt. Frosty cold and so delicious. All the progress I've made. They were about to give me my five-week pin. I almost feel bad about this. I don't have a conscience, Sam. What's your excuse? <laughs> oh, God. Now I'm not so much guilty as repulsed. Keep it coming. More! I need more! I need... I need a bathroom! Which way is the bathroom? Which way is the war room? Which way is the war room? It's that door right over there! I don't... Oh, thank you! Where do you think you're going? I've got to get in there! Bad! We've got a priority red number two here in the Oval Office. No, it's just number one. Escorting the suspect to holding cell for interrogation? Come with me, sir. But it'll only take a second. Please, let me go! That was fun! Okay, now I didn't catch all that. What did he say? He said that he's an idiot. Wait, we can punch him! Now it's time for some checks and balances, freelance police style. Max, will you do the honors? Gladly. 
Look it, fellas. My fingertips look like little tadpoles. They just don't make these guys like they used to. That's no guy, Max. It's a damned ugly puppet. Ah, the drawstring in his back should have been our first clue. Our first clue should have been the swirly eyes. But, silly me, I thought hypnotizee, not hypnotizer. What? Yes, an ingenious device being used to hypnotize the TV-watching public. But who was controlling him? Gonna take days to get that smell out of the interrogation room. What? What have you done? He was like that when we got here. Sam did it! <laughs> so these two numbskulls managed to off the president. It was a deep tissue massage gone horribly wrong. Ninjas! Sam did it! Still, ratings from the last State of the Union address were even lower than reruns of Midtown Cowboys. Didn't expect to have to replace the president so soon. Now that these idiots have forced my hand... Uh, we're standing right here. We can hear everything you're saying. It's time for a leader the people will have to listen to. Agents Jackson, Burr, and Degambe, we are moving the timeline forward. Commence phase two of the operation. I'll prepare the new candidate. Oh no. He, oh, he's a robot? The reaction I would have expected from a Secret Service agent discovering two people over the decapitated body of the President. What do you think this fake body is made of? Can I keep it? No time for that now, Max. We've got to stop the... Wait, what's that noise? I wanted to go in the war room. and scuba diving Buddha on a banana boat with cocktail onions and a map to the stars' homes. Yeah! They've reanimated America's most beloved president. I always thought Taft was shorter. Not Taft, you deficient. My fellow Americans, I am Abraham Lincoln. As you know by now, your president was recently murdered by two mysterious interpreters. But turn not to fear and despair. I have returned to guide us through this trouble. A vote for me is a vote for Abraham Lincoln. I get it! What's that? Uh-huh. Lincoln Memorial. Right. Hydraulic motors and robotic implants. Yes. Okay. I see. We're on it. Wrong number? That was the commissioner, Max. If this new Mecha Lincoln wins the emergency election, the nefarious forces controlling him will have unchecked power to destroy the entire free world. I hate when they do that. That's why one of us is going to have to run against him. Uh... You got to answer the phone. Okay, fair's fair. Max, we're going to make you the next president of the United States. Yes. I love that. I love that little thing on top. As a candidate for office, my pal Max would like to engage in a thoughtful discussion of the key issues. Followed by a round of spiteful mudslinging. Hmm, I see. Well, this is a bit irregular. As you're well aware, I'm the most beloved president in history. Well, I'm not, so actually I'm not sure if you're the most be beloved. On the post. Oh no, you didn't! You ain't all that! I freed the slaves! I was star of a popular television sitcom! I'm on the penny. I was on TV. Now, gentlemen, we can resolve this like adults through moderate reason debate. Very well. In the spirit of democracy, I say, bring it. And it's a beautiful day on the White House lawn as we bring <coughs> you the first in a series of debates for this emergency election for U.S. President. In the Republican corner, we have the giant animated statue of Abraham Lincoln. And representing the random violence and destruction party, there is the hyperkinetic rabbit-like creature known as Max. The rabbit-like creature, he's not a rabbit. The impartial moderator for the debates will be Sam. The candidates are ready, so let's listen in.
Time out. Max has to, uh, visit the little candidate's room. I'm drunk with power, but it just goes right through me. Right. I think I actually get the suit because I'm paying attention. It's the what two the Lincoln speech. I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. Two wrongs don't make a right. I'm glad that I've... Let's see this. Two wrongs don't make a right. Still. Sir, where are you going? It's time for another in this ongoing series of debates between Abraham Lincoln and Max. We turn you over to our impartial moderator, Sam. Contestants, it's time for our lightning round. Mr. Lincoln, I'm going to name some of the tough issues facing our country today. Oh, no. To sum up your stand on those issues in a few concise words. Well, all right. I'm afraid this will have to be completely off the top of my head, as I have nothing prepared. Uh, how do you solve the problem of toxic waste? I stand on religion and schools. And ooh. <laughs> I want to do a religion in schools because I'll piss off the most people in America. Actually, I don't know. Where schools do you stand part. on religion and schools? Two wrongs don't make a right. Did you hear that right? Lincoln just came down against both religion and education. Wow, that's gotta hurt him in the polls. Get wrecked, nerd. Who's natter? Uh, oh, wait, before I forget. I guess I should have done that last turn, but, you know, well. Oh, that would have been funny. What do you think about schools and public religion? Free home delivery. <laughs> oh, that would have been perfect. Oh, well. Wait, what if I... Hold on. I think... I actually don't think... I should have done this earlier. But I should listen to Lincoln. Mr. Lincoln, would you like to say a few words to the audience? <clears throat> Thank you. This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Today is the day we return America to greatness. I stand here at the steps of oh, the White funny, House, he just falls not off. above the people, but with the people. Only one man can lead the nation through this troubled time. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. The time to act is now. Thank you. <laughs> I've heard better addresses from the 411 operator. What did you just say? Hey, Lincoln! Captain Ahab called! He wants his beard back! I'm gonna slap you silly, you little punk! Save it for the debate, Max. Alright, thank you. Wait, I actually wanna grab the head. I wanna grab the head. Give me the head! It's the severed head of the president. I yearn to hold it aloft and turn giant sea atrocities to stone. You're thinking of Medusa's head. Oh yeah, I always get those two heads confused. Uh, uh, the White House pool. All right. With this information, we'll really be able to go see all the. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the. Shut. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Judge Judy Slayer, thank you for the follow. I wish I would have known that. I wish I would have seen that earlier. 
No civil first, and I'll check the office. Anything new? Hey, Sybil. How goes the dating game? Computer generated love is in the air. <clears throat> what the fuck? <laughs> How's business? Slow right now, but those applications are going to start coming in at any moment. Oh my god. Oh fuck. See you around. Alright. At this point, I'm just, I'm just gonna start following because I'm I'm just running on fucking straws. Uh, I'm gonna look at a, I'm gonna look at a thing so I can get stuff being lost. Nope, wrong way. Actually, no, you. I, I won't go for it. I won't Where go. Where are we going, Sam? Ah! I won't We're go for it. The White House. Oh boy. Wait, oh, fires! Ooh! I don't mind if I do. It's Lincoln's campaign flyer. I want you. Honest, dedicated, over a century of experience. Abraham Lincoln is your man. Did I grab it? Okay. Alright. Now! Wait, hold on. Since we, is, this is kind of the exact same thing that he, she wanted. So we can definitely do that now. Oh wait, no. If I'm gonna be... Because I'm gonna probably have to use What's-His-Nuts. The, uh, device thing. To call Sybil. Because that would make sense. Because he uses the voice. Because he can... Because he's a, he's a voice database. Who are you calling, Sam? Maybe I have to give her the flyer. Oh wait, yeah, what if I give her the flyer? And then I call her. Application? Yeah, it's uh, for a friend of ours. Let's see. Not THE Abraham Lincoln. He's tall, distinguished, loves the theater. He sounds perfect. That chump doesn't have half my cute, fluffy marketability. Do you think your computer can find him a date? Computer? Nothing. This guy sounds perfect for me. Oh, but he didn't leave his phone number. Next time you see him, give him my number. I'd love to meet him. Okay, now I can head back to a phone. I don't feel like going through the cutscene, so I'm just gonna do this. On complete side note, I actually don't know who Judge Judy is. I should say that, just for hell of it. Uh, I actually don't know who Judge Judy is. Uh, since, since I just see your name over there. Um, yeah, I don't know who that is. Who are you calling, Sam? Sybil. Sybil. Hello? Abe? Is it you? Uh, you bet. Honest Abe here. Very fun. Right, right, bot. I, not bot. 
<laughs> I guess I'm gonna punch the fucking. Um. Who are you calling, Sam? Shibble. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. Oh, well, Mr. President, it's just, it's just such an honor to talk to you. I saw your application, and I was wondering, would you like to go out sometime? This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Oh my, you are a charmer, aren't you? Well then, Mr. Rail Splitter, where would you like to meet? <laughs> I stand here at the steps of the White House. At the White House. Got it. What time should I meet you? The time to act is now. Oh, I love that despite. <laughs> right I'm gonna slap you, silly, you little punk. What? I didn't catch that last part. I will feast on your ears. What? Abe? What's going on? Uh, see you soon. Gotta go. Oh no! Oh no! So, to sum up, family values are the bedrock of this nation. Our I need to go back to I need to go back to civil. And loyalty to family is our most sacred asset as Americans. Candidate Max, your rebuttal. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Lincoln! I believe we have a question in the audience from someone who is not Candidate Lincoln's wife. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi, Max. Greetings, random harlot. Abe, I'm oh. here. Are you ready for our date? I've never seen this woman before in my life. But on the phone, you sounded so eager to meet me. Listen to me, America. I did not arrange a date with this woman. Oh, so she's good enough to fool around with, but not to date. Mr. Lincoln, I can't believe you're doing this to me. <laughs> oh. 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 I don't know. <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, that is very interesting. Where are we going, Sam? All right, I want to see. I'm gonna go back to back see. To I'm gonna go back to see Sybil. I want. I want to see. I want to see your reaction. <laughs> What's the matter, sourpuss? Hiya, Sybil. How are things in the world of computer-generated romance? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Can you believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self-centered jerks. Preach it, girlfriend! <laughs> so you changed careers again? Yeah, now I'm running a dating service. Um, what? Come again? A carbon dating service. I bought this astoundingly useful machine that tells me how old things are. I usually just cut them in half and count the rings. There's a reason you're not invited to birthday parties anymore. Oh, God! I'm starting a new career to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carving dating equipment online, and I couldn't afford to change my sign. Uh, you're having financial problems? I'm afraid so. After my public humiliation with Lincoln, all the applicants for my dating service demanded their money back. Not to mention all the money tied up in pending litigation with the clients who watched Max's dating video. I stated very clearly up front that viewer discretion was advised. Believe me, I would love to just close up shop for a while and take a vacation. Forget about Honest Dave and all the lawsuits. It was a wardrobe malfunction! But unless I get a major windfall, I have to hope the carbon dating business takes off. How does carbon dating work? Ooh. I don't know. Something about carbon-14 <laughs> and half-lives and radiation. I'm impressed with your details. Kind, that's kind of how it works. Very professional. That's the beauty of it. I don't really need to know anything. I just aim my little machine at something and it tells me how old it is. Allow me to demonstrate. This tiki is... Oh my gosh. 
It's, it's 2,000 years old. This is fantastic. Old is good? Absolutely. I can have my office put on the National Register of Historic Places. I might even get a grant. I'd be rich. Can we borrow your carbon dating machine? No way. That machine is still my only chance to take care of my money problems. Unless I get a grant, since I'm now on the National Register of Historic Places. There's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Ah. Uh. Hmm. See you around, Sybil. Didn't the book say something about national treasures? It did, didn't it? Uh, what if I... Oh, let me, let me go back to the book. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the... Oh, I'm pretty sure it's something about that. Hopefully there's something interesting about national treasures in there. Because maybe we could force her to... Uh, get a grant. Step away from the national budget, sir. That's for the president's eyes only. What are we doing here, Max? You're my campaign manager. I thought you knew. What are we doing here, Max? Hmm. You're my campaign manager. Bah, bah, I thought bah, you knew. Bah, bah. Glad we took this time to talk, Max. Keep in touch, Sam. I mean that. Ah. Uh. I don't know. Move, damn you. Okay, there we go. Well, it has to be something. What if we talk to the guy? Because it says I'm not allowed to look at it, but Sam's technically a runner-up for the presidency. Were you just T-posing? Motherfucker. Oh no, not this guy again. Hey, it's our pal, Super Bowl! One and the same, sir. Well, stand aside, pal. No can do, sir. Orders. Are you really happy with this line of work? Finest job in the world, sir. Don't you ever just want to take off for some personal time? Would love to, sir. Got a wife at home. Intel suggests Super Bowl Jr. starting first grade. So plenty of doors I could guard in my time off. Solid oak. Good doors. Strong doors. Want to hear a really boring story? So boring that I fall asleep and let you enter the war room? Oh, so you've heard it already. I stand guard over doors all day, sir. Takes a lot to bore me. Let us into that room. No can do, sir. Orders. Until I hear from Chuckles, my superior officer. I'm to guard this door. No, what do I do? I guess we can continue the sign. Sign step. Because maybe I have to win the presidency. Hey. Okay. 
Mr. Lincoln, I'd like you to tell the voters your stand on some of the tough issues. Very well. Uh, how to describe your tax plan? How would you describe your tax plan? Free home delivery. We're not quite sure what Lincoln meant by that, but decided to ignore it. How do you plan to solve the problem of toxic waste? Free home delivery. Ooh, an effective but very There we go. From candidate Lincoln. And the crowd did not like that idea one bit. Let's see how it affected the polls. Oh, come on, Natter. So I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. Two wrongs don't make a right. Free home delivery. I'm glad. Greetings, miserable prole. People of Earth, your day of. <coughs> <coughs> This election reminds me of a droll story. It seems Chester A. Arthur and the Pope were kayaking down the Amazon one day. Suddenly, a tiny Kandiru fish swims up the Pope's and lodges itself in his Arthur grabs the Pope's pliers and swelled up like a melon. And the Pope says, thanks. Last time that happened, McKinley wanted a No, wait, wait, wait. I think I told it wrong. I believe in the ideal of a global community where America is but a small part. We must set aside our differences and work with our fellow nations, all united towards one goal. The complete and utter annihilation of the godless Belgians. Oh my god. <laughs> but I agree. I want to see a return to the prosperity of the America we once knew. A chicken in every pot and vice versa. A pot in every chicken. If elected, I promise a return to a happier time in America's past. The days when giant thunder lizards marched over the fern-covered marshes of the Midwest, preying on the upstart mammals. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm a uniter, not a divider. I foresee an America under one rule, an iron-fisted rule. One rabbit, one law. Let your neighbors know that dissent will not be tolerated. All hail Max. Makes sense. I have a dream, America. It starts out where I'm in an all nude production of Death of a Salesman on Ice, but I haven't studied and I can't remember my lines. Suddenly, it begins to rain marshmallows, but that's okay because trees are made of brand packets and chocolate bars are the official currency. I believe that by working together, we can make that dream a reality. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. And the chupacabra, Madre de Dios, he'll kill us all. I mean, yeah. That is all. Hmm. Step away from the national budget, sir. That's for the president's eyes only. Oh, it does say Sybil. So I didn't have to do anything. I just wasted my entire. I just wasted time talking to what's his nuts as Sam as Max. Where are we going, Sam? 
Back to the office. Shotgun! Oh well. At least I got to hear some great. At least I got to hear some great uh, things from Sam, from Sam and Max. Mainly Max because Sam didn't say anything. I'm never gonna be able to remember the names, and I don't know why. I used to nothing around. Who could possibly need a freelance carbon dating service? Plenty of people. Freelance archaeologists, independent historians, rogue paleobotanists. Drug it's dealers. Fun for your next bachelorette party. <laughs> and now that Antiques Thunderdome is getting so popular, business is bound to pick up. Antiques Thunderdome? The show where common everyday people bring random junk from around the house to a giant steel cage match and engage in a no-holds-barred appraisal to the death? That's the one. Now everybody's convinced they have some priceless treasure in their attic and their home will be declared a historic monument. Makes sense. Can we borrow No way! That means Unless I get a grant or place it. There's no way I'm... See you. Uh... I wonder what future archaeologists will learn from our most sacred treasure. That you can watch 250 channels and there's still nothing um, Wow, well, great camera. Great camera angle, my dude. Hmm. Very disturbed. Pen. <laughs> uh, okay. So we need to figure out how to draw on that thing. circles. So I need to just switch. Okay, God, Max, I swear to God, I'll murder you. What do we do? Your I'm keeping. <laughs> okay. No, or or yes, actually, or yes, if we shoot. Uh, no. your tax plan I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country and 
Lincoln dodges the question by pulling out his trusty campaign slogan, which pleases the crowd but has no effect on the poll. Alright. Keep him That's enough for now. Mr. Lincoln, the networks are looking for a soundbite. Would you care to share a few words with us? <clears throat> Thank you. This is a date that will be returned the me I stand here to peak. Only one man. And that the time to act. I can Mr. Lincoln. Oh, same thing. The time. So if we switch the cards to something else, I don't know. Two wrongs don't make a right. How would you describe your tax plan? Two wrongs don't make a right. And that doesn't really. That's free home delivery. How would you describe your tax plan? Free home delivery. We're not quite sure what Lincoln meant by that, so it looks like, yes, the American people have decided to ignore it. Mm. That's enough for... Time out. I'm already lost. Dead ass. Please do not feed the submarine. What can you feed us? Nothing. Honestly, right now I am looking at a walkthrough because I'm just dead confused. Are you fucking? Mm -hmm. No wonder I'm. Uh Where are we going, Sam? Of course, I was reading the fucking. Uh okay.
Don't, don't say it. There's actually a thing in here. Okay. Give me all you got. It's the army's new recruiting slogan. It's a lot better than their old one. What are you, chicken? Gonna cry now, baby? Apparently, there's no room in the military budget for quality of the Yeah, apparently, I'm supposed to use this. I did not know this. Okay. Now I could answer the last question because that would make sense to Where have. Where are we going, Sam? So it makes sense to have him say, "Give it, give them all to me, baby." In the slogan. I'm just, I'm just annoyed with that. Also, I gotta admit, I like the, I like the uh, sounds. Give me all you got. How would you describe your There we go. Give me all you got. And candidate Lincoln has proposed one shopper of an economic strategy, which even Democrats are calling a trifle excessive. That had to have hurt him in the polls. There we go, finally. Also, who's Natter? The results from the emergency election are coming in. And it appears that former sitcom star Max has been elected president of the United States. In an unprecedented show of bipartisan solidarity, all of the country's political parties have desperately asked for a recount. Let's cut to the White House lawn to hear candidate Lincoln's address. You've got to be me, you idiot. He took the news much better than expected. Democracy? I will make you all my hypnotic slaves. <laughs> Abe Lincoln will enslave the entire East Coast if we don't stop it. Who cares? I'm the president of the U.S. Let's go bomb someone into oblivion. Not just anyone, Max. Abe Lincoln must die. Yes. We're good. Hey, there's the bit. Oh fuck, are you doing, my dude? All right. Uh, now we can do. Now well, we can have some fun. Cause now we can access the thing. Cause now we're president. Also, it's your fault for listening to an idiot. Finally, Mr. President, you're here. That's the president? People will vote for anyone these days. Obviously. What's that supposed to mean? It means... Never mind. Look, Max, all the soda poppers are here. I don't have time for foreign dignitaries. Check out all the cool stuff on my new desk. Well, first of all, fuck, I do the national budget. Hey, look, Max. It's the presidential discretionary budget. You have $100 million to allocate however you want. What a delightfully random and convenient figure. So it's tough to do this one. Okay, now we can go back it's because she got that grant. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun. So now she'll be able to give us. She'll give us the thing now because of the grant. Hmm. Sybil left the door unlocked. She's probably living it up Where on some tropical island she? on the taxpayer's dime. I bet she's getting abducted in some sleazy nightclub, then sold into a white slavery ring, forced to do unspeakable things for a power-mad despot, before narrowly escaping his volcano top lair with only one of her kidneys left. Don't be so <laughs> Sorry, Sam. It's just no fair. We're stuck here working, and she gets to have all the fun. Fair enough. Ooh, wait. Inter wait. Oh, shit. I clicked the intercom. It's Sybil's carbon data. Take it, damn it. All right, there we go. Oh, 
Because now we can scan something in Bosco's. No promises. I did talk about the wieners before, though. We can scan the wieners. Well, Bosco, by my readings, these weenies date from the early Cretaceous period. Uh, da! Special bargain for you! Still tasty, half of today only. You don't understand. Your store is now a national historic place. These weenies are valuable artifacts. Really? I mean, uh, of course! In preserving heritage of my people. Just how valuable are we talking about here? We'll get back to you on that. Can we scan what Bosco? That? Keep that away from me! Relax, Bosco. It only tells how old you are. Why do you need to know that? Did someone send you to find out how old I am? Yes. Jeez, never mind. <laughs> What's your problem with dating, Sam? You give up too easily. Alright. Uh, now we can just uh, give the money to Bosco. Wait, we're giving Bosco... So far, this motherfucker... Let's see. He's going to be getting... A hundred and eleven million four hundred thousand dollars. We're off to the wall. What the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, next thing you know, he's gonna ask for a billion. Talk to Max. I'm glad we keep it. Hey, look, Max. It's the one thing. What a delightful. Hey, you Rick Nerd. Now we'll get to talk. No, I want to go out. We can go back to him. Go back to uh, Bosco. Go with, Did I just start through the sign? I'm not gonna question it. For some reason, I have a weird feeling Hubeless is gonna be the uh, cause of all this hypnotic crap. All I can say. Uh, to answer your question is hopefully. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm gonna say is just hopefully. Hello, Comrade Bosco. Hail to the chief. I actually don't know. But I just got a huge check from the government. You earned it, Bosco. It's not easy to perfectly preserve weenies that predate the discovery of fire. Not to mention the teeming microcosm growing in the bathroom. We're considering making it a national wildlife preserve. Now I can finally finish my satellite defenses. So, we can have the truth serum? Sure. Let me dig it up from the lab. This is a bottle of vodka. Fuck it, trust me. Trust, trust me. Get a We're couple of shots of that in somebody, and they'll tell you all their secrets. Thanks, things. Bosco. That was faster than it should have been. Also, funny, funny thing about President Abraham here, right now he's no longer the, right now he's not even the president. So we are, we've already taken that thing away from him. Where are we going, Sam? So I guess that's one terrible thing we've already done. We're off to the White House. Oh boy! So, uh, sucks to be the man of metal? Stone? I know he's a robotic suit. Like a robotic uh, vehicle right now. Not a vehicle, but an automaton. Uh, but he also is... Um... 
they also was like originally made out of metal, not originally out of what? I don't know. Is he made out of quartz? Was it? Actually, is the original thing made out of quartz? Which one's the one? Also, on a clear side note, which one's the one that needs to take a piss constantly? You! Do I have a drink for you? Sure, why not? Vodka. Wow! That's got more kick than the other ones. Thanks, Batman Max. You guys... You guys are my best friends. Now can we get back to the deliberation? What's the point? You still think Peeper's idea is stupid. Stupid? You never told me about <laughs> my idea was stupid! You said your idea of adding Herbert Hoover hugging the four other presidents was the stupidest thing he'd ever heard! Well, it is! Hoover wasn't even a president, which you means right. he certainly wasn't the most loving of all the presidents. Well, at least I didn't suggest putting a parking garage in George Washington's forehead, like some four-eyed freaks I know. You little, you big. Of course you realize this means war. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, now we can get into war. What's this I hear? What wondrous thing? <laughs> is this the ring? A flashing light above the door. There's just one thing it could mean. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I love this. I can see you vote for peepers, oh god! <laughs> I absolutely love that. I loved that. That was fantastic. Oh my god, I love that. It's the Secretary of Presidential Whimsy Ribbon. Looks like Max can use this to appoint someone as an honorary cabinet secretary. I absolutely fucking loved that. His Excellency El Pepe Maximilian I, Intimidator of the Realm, has a special surprise for you. 
Better get those handkerchiefs ready. This could get sentimental. Agent Superball, we have decided to reward you for your excellent service to your country, for your unwavering commitment to preventing us from being where we most desperately needed to be, for your unerring devotion to being a constant hindrance in our task. For all these things and more, we now dub thee Superball. Oh, what should I name him? What should we name him? Name it. If, 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 if someone doesn't say anything, I'll just name him something like random. I kind of like the meats and cheeses, admittedly. Uh. Huh. It was picking, say, one and through three or four. Also, that would that easily work. Because this. Meats and cheeses is one. Uh, mysterious gaseous animations is two. Interior is three, and then guarding the war room door is four. Secretary in charge of guarding the war room door. Max, no. Oh, right. Uh, Secretary of Defense, whatever. So we have spoken, so it shall be. All hail, Max. I'm overwhelmed, sir. I don't know what to say. Now run along to the cabinet meeting. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. You've got to be kidding me. I still have my orders. Stand aside, pal. The president needs to get into the war room. I'm afraid that's not allowed, sir. Perhaps you didn't hear our advisor. We would like to see our war room. No can do, sir. Orders. Max, you can take a vacation. We will make an exception just this once. Thank you, sir, but no can do. I can only take a vacation on federal holidays. Uh... What if you make today a federal holiday, huh? It's the official United States calendar. Well, but the hottest day. Even better, Max. You can actually change the official date. Oh boy! Beginning of Passover. Secretary's Day. Today, April 26th. Secretary's Day. That's supposed to be Administrative Professionals Day. Wow, Sam. When I picked you for vice president, I didn't know you were such a politically correct, bleeding heart liberal. All right, then. Secretary's Day. All right, Secretary's Day, you get to have a break off. Today is Secretary's Day. You have to take the day off. It's the law, Jack! A vacation? Permission to weep openly, sir. Not just granted, but encouraged. The forces of bureaucracy win again. I love this country. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's... We can finally go to war. Can't wait to blow up Bosco. <laughs> Or someone. Looks like a remote homing beacon in the fridge in Antarctica. So peaceful. So serene. You wanna blow it up? You have to ask. Fire! Special tonight? Penguin Flambe! What? Who would have suspected the Washington Monument is really a self-replenishing supply of intercontinental ballistic missiles? It's good to see it used for something more useful than corny innuendo for once. I wonder if this will have a significant impact on our delicate ecosystem. 
My ego is bigger already. No. The humming beacon to the Kremlin doesn't seem to be working. It was probably turned off in the spirit of Glasnow. More likely those lazy commie bastards forgot to change the batteries. Lazy former commie bastards, Max. Fire! There's no beacon for the missile to lock onto. Oh, and they'll fuck. just have to do this the slow way. Lock and load, Sam! We're off to Red Square! Some other time, little buddy. <sighs> it's the distant, peaceful world of Krypton. <gasps> they mock us with their oh. of cities and absentee parents. They must be exterminated! Will do, boss. Well, what do you know? Bosco was right. The government really has been targeting his store for destruction. Won't he be glad when we tell him? What do you say we keep this to ourselves, Max? You're right. We don't want to ruin the surprise. What's the next target? Oh, Bosco's Attention, last. Bosco shoppers. Clean up in aisle everything. Goodbye, Bosco. Would you look at that? Bosco's satellite defense system actually works. Well played, Bosco. You're safe. But for how long? Hmm. Well, we had our fun. This is just a senseless waste of taxpayer dollars. But it's undeniable. I actually can't. Oh, there we go. So we need a beacon. Oh, we want to just grab Bosco's. Why don't we just steal Bosco's? Swear to God. I want out. I want in the Oval Office, damn it! I'm gonna blow the fuck out of the president. I'm gonna blow the fuck out of him. And then I'm gonna blow him up. <laughs> I'll let you decide what kind of blow. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the off. Sh Shit! Bosco, we're coming to murder you. Well, not really murder, I'm just here to steal the government camera that I actually lost here. Look, stuck to the camera. That must be the homing beacon for the intercontinental ballistic missiles aimed at Bosco's store. What was that? Uh, he said, that must be the best price on baby wipes I've ever seen. Yeah, buy one, get one. Best price. Shit. <laughs> Alright. Now we can head to, bit to them because if we can use if we can get this. Uh, Where are we going, Sam? After that rampaging Lincoln. Yes. If we can grab a Lincoln with the beacon, we can shoot him with the beacon. Well, he was fine. Just had to follow the trail of broken campaign promises. That's pretty
or choose his own back off to escape. There we go. Let's go shoot beat let's go shoot Abraham Lincoln with a missile the size of the Washington Monument. This can only mean good things. Hey, this can only be lead to good things, not bad things. It's time to murder. Looks like the targeting beacon is still stuck on Lincoln. This is uh, a pretty impressive temper tantrum, Sam. At this rate, he'll have enslaved all of DC and most of Baltimore by tomorrow morning. He gets, you're right, Max. Still, I think we should stop him. We haven't got anything better to do. Final. Mr. President? Don't mind if I do. Quick, let's go. Shouldn't we revel a little? We don't want to miss this. Say goodbye. Not anymore, bitch. Woo! That was better than feeding laxatives to pigeons on parade day. What? We broke two presidents in one afternoon. A personal best. Well, it looks like the country is saved, at least for mass hypnosis. What do you want to do now? Let's abuse my powers as leader of the free world to squeeze the middle class until they're burning their own shoes for heat. Sounds fun, but I was thinking we could treat ourselves to some chocolate frosted gut bombs and then have a little target practice down to the Smithsonian. Sam, you're my best friend. <laughs> Agent Chuckle, report. Query status. Lincoln Gamble, four score, stroke seven. Query not acknowledged and acceptable timeout parameters. Error. That sounds like that sounds like hubless. That sounds like hubless. Well, that was a fun one. I was kind of hoping I was gonna be able to murder the president more than I did, but hey, I turned on the rubble at least. That was fun. I actually had some fun. I had a lot of fun with that. That was harder than the other ones, though. So I feel bad for having to look up a walkthrough on that. Actually, I don't feel that bad because I was kind of bullshitting. Like for the most part, that was uh, straightforward. But like, there uh, maybe uh, maybe because I wasn't paying attention to some of the uh, um, some of the dialogue, that could easily be it. Wait, hold on. Wait, I saw that. www.maxperpresident.com. Hold on, we have to check that out. All right. So, I'm going to pause right here. www. Oh.
Um, but 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 but. Okay. I'm as busy. Okay, I can't I can't find it. I can't get to the website, which sucks. I really wanted to see the www.maxpresident.com. Yeah, I tried looking it up. I I can't get to it. Uh by the looks of it, I don't think I really found. Uh, I really couldn't find anything. Um, and maybe, let me see one last thing. Yeah, but it looks like there's nothing on here. I think the website kind of just died off. Which is unfortunate. But, oh well, I guess. Uh, so, this will be the end of this episode. Next episode, uh, or next stream, I mean, we'll probably get in touch with episode 5. Look like it's going to be Reality 2.0. I'll try to figure out a name for that one. So, I'm going to have some fun with this, though. But I do hope you enjoyed the stream, because I definitely did. Being able to shoot Lincoln is my favorite pastime. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next stream. Bye.